Every morning, the sun rises without fail. Yet one day, even the sun will meet its end. The sun is 4.6 billion years old. With a lifespan said to be around 10 billion years, just half of its life remains. Right before a star like the sun comes to its end, it is said to be a beautiful sight to behold. What will the sun look like at the end of its life? A surprising truth awaits. Countless stars fill the night sky, shining as they burn themselves up. When stars run out of fuel to burn, their lives come to an end. Of course, this also applies to the sun. What kind of end awaits stars like the sun? It was a British astronomer who first observed what stars look like at the end. William Herschel was a leading figure in 18th century astronomy. One day, as Herschel turned his telescope towards Aquarius, he encountered a strange celestial body. What he saw, in fact, was how a star looks at the end of its life. Not knowing this at the time, however, Herschel described what he saw as follows. A curious nebula, or what else to call it, I do not know. It is circular, as if it were of a planetary nature. There was a reason why Herschel thought it looked like a planet. On the right is Uranus. On the left is the celestial object that Herschel discovered in Aquarius. Seen through a telescope at the time, they would have probably looked like this. There is certainly a similarity in their blurry, glowing forms. The object was named Planetary Nebula for this reason. 200 years later, the Hubble Space Telescope captured a clear and detailed image of a planetary nebula. The dot shining in the center is a white dwarf, the burnt-up remnant of a sun-like star. The white dwarf may just be dying embers, but at this stage, it is still very hot and shines brightly. A planetary nebula forms when a star with a similar mass to the sun runs out of fuel to burn. The star hydrogen undergoes nuclear fusion and turns into helium and carbon. And then, nuclear fusion comes to an end. The star shrinks and it becomes a white dwarf. This white dwarf then illuminates the scattered gases that surround it, creating a planetary nebula. Planetary nebulae come in all shapes and colors. They are like jewels floating in space. It is thought that the sun, too, will one day become a beautiful planetary nebula. What will the sun look like at its very end when seen from Earth? Bruce Ballack has been studying planetary nebulae for over 40 years. Based on the latest research, 
he has predicted the sun's final moments. The nuclear fusion of hydrogen makes the sun glow. Eventually, all the hydrogen in its core will turn into helium. The sun will then start to grow into gigantic proportions. And actually, it does a very odd thing. It begins to collapse because of gravity, and it becomes even hotter than it used to be. And when, when it's hot enough, that causes the helium that was left from the earlier stages of the star to burn carbon. That's a very, very energetic process. A lot of energy is released, and the star swells up when it becomes a red giant, approaching the size of the Earth's orbit. The brightly glowing sun swallows up Mercury and Venus as it expands to around 200 times its current size. The gigantic sun soon encroaches upon Earth. However, just as it's almost within reach, Earth is spared. Although the sun swallows up Mercury and Venus as it grows, it also emits gas along the way and becomes lighter. This weakens the sun's gravitational pull and shifts the Earth's orbit slightly outwards. And so if you're in the orbit, if you're, if you're standing on the Earth, you're skimming around the outside of the sun. During, at noon, the sun fills your whole sky from one horizon to the other. And it's very hot here. It's the same temperature as the inside of a kiln that you use for making pots. So the surface of the Earth turns a, 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 a solid. The oceans are all gone. But things don't stay like this forever. nuclear fusion ends, the sun starts to shrink while furiously spewing out gas. Not only Earth, but every planet of the solar system becomes engulfed in this huge cloud of gas. A white dwarf emerges, the remnant of the burnt out sun. And then it illuminates the scattered gases forming a planetary nebula. If seen from far, far away, a beautiful nebula such as this will appear, suspended in the pitch black darkness. Meanwhile, if it were seen from Earth, Balak believes the nebula would produce an extraordinary spectacle. night, the gases that it had ejected earlier and which become the planetary nebula that surrounds the sun, they're faintly visible over the night sky. What would it look like? The, the planetary nebula would look like an aurora that fills the whole sky night after night after night. Wrapped inside the planetary nebula created by the sun, Earth will see a night sky like no other. This will be the last glorious glow of the sun as seen from Earth. Tens of thousands of years later, the white dwarf will cool down and the nebula will start to fade. This will be the sun's final manifestation.